Hey everybody! Uh, today I want to talk to you about two very different makeup palettes that I am in love with for two very different reasons, and they both happen to be by Urban Decay. The first is the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette, which is a really amazing palette of neutrals. Okay, you can see here all the prettiness. It has uh, really dark black on the left, it has really pale white on the right, and pretty much every neutral in between. Um, oh, in case you're wondering why my nails are all weird, it's because I went to a costume party last night, so. I was, I was a K-pop star, a Korean pop star. And the second palette is the Urban Decay Electric palette, which is a bunch of crazy, crazy bright electric shadows. Well, I was actually contacted by Urban Decay and offered the chance to test out this palette before it came out. Um, so I spent all day today playing with the shadows, putting together some looks, and I'm doing this video in advance of when the palette comes out. Right now it's February, it doesn't come out until March, but I actually had on one of my looks and I figured, ah, might as well do a video. But typically when I wear makeup, even though I love makeup, I'm not really like a makeup obsessive. You know, I'm not into swatches, I'm not into, you know, dupes and comparing this versus comparing that. Um, as a beauty blogger, I do get samples sent to me, so I have a huge ton of makeup um, and I never really need to buy new makeup. Um, that being said, there are obviously brands that I gravitate toward and that I genuinely like, and there are brands that you can send me all of the free products in the world and I'll never use them because I don't find them very good. Um, Urban Decay is one of those brands where when they send me makeup I get very excited because their formulations are awesome, especially their shadows. Naked Palette and the Naked 2 Palette are ones that over the years I've used and I've loved. Um, and this particular, you know, Naked 2 Palette, which again with all of these neutrals, this is what I use every single day. Like this is my basic go-to regular eyeshadow situation. Um, I like pumping it up and I use these uh, colors to do a smoky eye. I often use this dark black in my crease and then I'll use uh, this little gray right there on my lids and then I use this brown and this gold. You can kind of see the shades that have been used, it's pretty obvious. There are colors that I rarely ever 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 use, like I think Verve right here and Booty Call right there. Um, in any case, it is a great, super versatile palette. I highly recommend it. I think this should be in everybody's makeup kit. As to Urban Decay Electric, this is a bit different. This palette is definitely not for everybody. Um, and when they first sent it to me, I didn't think it was even gonna be for me. I was like, these shades are so weird. I will never use these. Um, and I was kind of baffled as to how I was even gonna do this makeup challenge to create these looks. But then I started playing with them and I realized that these are actually some pretty cool shadows. Um, and a lot of these colors are simply pumped up versions. Like how do I, how do I put this and keep talking to you at the same time? Um, a lot of these colors are simply pumped up versions of shades that I use anyway. So like I really like using turquoise eyeshadow. I just typically don't have it be so bright and kind of, you know, opaque. I'll kind of dab it in and um, blend it till it's sheer. I really like using uh, purple eyeshadow, and that's one of my staples. What else? Um, silver. Here we have silver. That's another staple for me. Etc. 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 I was playing with these, and basically the look that I have right now, and I'll get in kind of close, um, is right up here. I have a little bit of this orange color called Slow Burn, and so that is this color right here. And you can see I put the orange pretty much all over my eye, above the crease, and then I blended it. And then because I have green eyes and I like to use things that bring out my green eyes, I used uh, this shade of green right here, boop, which is called Freak. Um, and so I put that just on my uh, lid and then sort of blended that in. And then for a little bit of extra fun, I decided that I was going to take this shade right there called Chaos, um, and I dabbed that, if you can see, just on the outer corners of my lash line. Um, I actually put it on the bottom of my lash line as well, but that was like two hours ago, and it's long since faded. So anyhow, there are a lot of really cool looks you can do with this, um, and I'll show you, like, let's take, for example, this is Gonzo, which is this blue. I'm just going to use my finger. Um, you can see how much pigment is on there, like it's crazy. And if I were to do it on my hand, like that is a lot of eyeshadow. That is some really, really concentrated pigment. The cool thing is, if you blend it, 
it starts to actually get pretty sheer. Like you can see at the ends, it blends out and it's much more sheer than it is in the middle where it's concentrated. So these are actually really fun shades to play with. Um, I'll take this orange, for example, which again, this is Slow Burn, which is the one that I have up here. And you can kind of blend that. And you can see, you know, these are kind of like mixing together and there's a cool little bit of purple in the middle, a little bit of, uh, you know, chemistry of color, color wheel. Um, and it's just, you know, while at first glance these might seem like crazy, crazy shades, when you're playing with them you can realize that you can actually take these and use them as accents either in your crease, a little bit of accent on your lid, a little bit of accent around the corner of your eye. Um, and what I actually did for the look, I'm, I'm about to go out and meet my friends tonight. We're gonna have a game night, I'm so excited. Um, is I took the uh, the slow burn and the gonzo that I have on, and then I just put a little bit of my regular go-to naked two colors on top. And so I just kind of softened it with a little bit of the busted, a little bit of the, um, the black, which is called blackout, and kind of smudged it around and then put a little bit more green on, a little bit more blue, and just sort of had fun with it. Um, and I think that that's one of the biggest things that I've seen with friends of mine. People are scared of eyeshadow, and I feel like you're either in one of two camps where you're like one of those girls that, you know, like watches the YouTube tutorials because you want to learn how to recreate Katy Perry's look for yourself, or you're the other girl who's like, I don't know how to apply mascara and I don't even know how to do a smoky eye. And it's sort of like, you know, never the twain shall meet. And I feel like there, you know, there's a group of people in the middle who are like me, where I'm not a professional makeup artist. I do know my stuff and I know what I like and I know maybe how to put colors together, but I also am kind of lacking on the technique. And so it's like, you know, I don't really worry about it. I just kind of play and I have fun and it's, you just figure out what works for you, you know? Don't have, you don't have to be perfect at it. Um, I think it's just about playing and having fun. And you know, that's one of my biggest, um, you know, that's one of the biggest ways that I approach beauty is I think that beauty shouldn't be so serious. Like people take beauty way too seriously. It's supposed to make you feel better. It's supposed to make you feel pretty and lighten your mood and just kind of present something positive to the world at large. Um, and so, you know, if you like blue eyeshadow and blue eyeshadow makes you happy, you know, play with the blue eyeshadow. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be a great makeup artist look. Um, as long as it's pretty and you're enjoying it, you know, it's all that matters. So, um, highly recommend Naked 2 and Urban Decay Electric. They are both great. Um, very different ends of the makeup arsenal, but I think that you'll like them both. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and check out my blog at nadinejolie.com. Um, more to come soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.